Hey, I'm Jack and welcome to Vapecore. Today we are going to be looking at the Smock TFE12 Baby Prince Tank, which is the latest tank in the TFE12 series following the Prince Tank. So, no further ado, let's get this open and have a look inside. So, a few things about the tank is, from top to bottom, it has a 510 drip tip on the top. It does look quite a wide bore, but once you get it off, you'll find 510 connection, no worries at all. Um, on the filling mechanism, you have the standard sort of style Smock gun where it pivots around from one point. But they have got a little lock button as they introduced on the Prince tank, which is great, makes it a bit more secure when it's closed. Uh, moving down, you have glass tank and the coil inside, which you'd expect as a tank. Uh, very bottom, you have adjustable airflow, which doesn't click into any positions. It's a free moving one, but does stop at fully closed and fully open, which is handy. And on the bottom, 510 threading as standard with everything. So, as well as the tank inside the box, you do get a whole bunch of other things. So, you get your standard bag of O-rings and spare seals, which is always handy to have in case you lose or damage any of them. You get three coils, which is great. Um, the standard 0.4 and baby beast coil will come pre-installed. Uh, standard coil, most people know how it is, we'll touch on it later anyway. But the ones that are most interesting to me is their two newer coils, which is one being the T12 coil which is kind of similar to the T8, but it's got an extra strand of wire in each coil, so hence the T8 to T12. And this one does have an LED in it, which, depending on your view on it, can be really cool, cannot be. A lot of people like the light up thing because Smock actually made the light up baby beast, which was really popular. Uh, for me personally, it's cool, it's a thing, it's there. And my personal favourite, which is the mesh coil, is a 0.15 ohm coil, uh, rated between 40 to 80, and they say the best is 60 to 70 watts. And I've just loved this coil. It's made me sort of re fall in love with this tank and that sort of part from Smock. It's just great. The flavor is fantastic. The amount of vapor you get is fantastic. Very quick ramp up time. It wicks really, really well because there's quite a lot of cotton inside as well, which is really good. Probably a touch more than the um, standard 0.4, which is great. So, three coils, and then you get your standard manual. So, you get a little black smock manual, your ore card here, and all the other paperwork. So, two main things you need to do with the sub tank are fill it up and replace the coil, which we'll show you quickly how to do. It's very easy. So similar to many other tanks, you unscrew the base and the coil will be there for you. So the coil will just be the little piece sticking up and then you twist that out when it tastes burnt and old. Throw it away, grab a new one, make sure the threads catch and then just twist it in. It doesn't have to be super tight, as long as it's connecting, it's all good. And then you twist that little bit back in. And then filling it up, as I mentioned, you have a little button on the front. So you click that little button, push the tank open. And there will be two holes, a round one in the centre and like a kidney shaped one to the side. You want to put your juice in the kidney shaped one to the side. Squeeze your juice in and then you click it and you'll feel like a little lock when it does close again, as you'll see. Yep, so a very, very simple tank, very easy filling system as well, which I'm a big fan of. So we've had a look at the tank up close, spoken about it and all that. So time for pros and cons as always. For me, the first pro is the size. It's not a big tank. Um, a lot of tanks coming out now are 24 and 25 millimeters. And for me, I like carrying around a smaller device, but I do sub them when I'm out and about. So a single battery device, these fit flush with pretty much all of them, which is perfect, being 23 millimeters in width, which is great. So another thing that I absolutely love is the new mesh coil heads they are shipping out. I absolutely loved using this. It's been really just an easy sort of experience. So you put it in, fill it up, I'm a bit sceptical because I've never really tried mesh, but I'll be honest, if you try this, you will definitely, definitely be impressed. The flavour's great, the vapor's great, and I've been using it for a good while now, and no sign of the coil dying out. It's been three days of solid use and abuse, and normally my coils tend to die very quickly. So, that's another wonderful pro. And the last one I'll touch on is the locking mechanism. They've taken that from the Prince tank, which is great as well. The only real sort of like niggly point I had with the Baby Beast, the original one, was that if it was in your pocket and you sort of leaned on it the wrong way, would pop open and sometimes your juice could leak out in your pocket and that's not good for in any situation. So a little locking mechanism makes it a bit harder to open uh, by accident and it's great. So it's really easy, just a little button, push it and it pops open. You can see how easy it is. But if I try it elsewhere, no joy, you press the button and it pops open for you. So absolutely great all round. And for cons, the only thing I can really say is that it's kind of... It's not really a new tank top to bottom, and that's been very, very nitpicky. It's kind of a baby beast tank that's just been remodeled and looks a little bit different. But I can't complain about it because the baby beast is a great little tank and the new coils they've included really does sort of make you want to use the tank again. Because um, I'd had a baby beast for a long time, I used it, I stopped using it, so I'll come back to it every so often. 
But with this since I've got it, I've not put it down. So that's a really good sign that they're still keeping um, old tanks relevant again. There's only a handful of tanks that I can really sort of um, recall that have stayed relevant for a long time. And Smok are doing very, very good things to keep it something people that want they want to use. So, time for my overview of the tank, and overall, I've really enjoyed using it. It's a solid, solid little tank. It's nothing groundbreaking, it's nothing really overly new, but what it does, it does really well. Um, in the market of like replaceable coil sub ohm tanks, there's a whole bunch of them. But this is one that is, I'm sure you can buy and you will not be disappointed at all. I've been using it for a couple of days now and absolutely loved, loved, loved using it. Only real gripe with it is that it is just, in essence, a baby beast tank with a bit of a facelift. It looks really nice, I like the matte black finish, I changed the O-rings to black, but overall it's a Baby Beast tank with some different coil options, but that's not a bad thing because the Baby Beast is a super solid tank. So if you are interested in this tank, all of the links will be down in the description below for the tank and the coils and such, or you can pop into any of our four shops, come in, have a look at it in person and see what you think. So thank you very much guys for watching and we will see you soon.